Hey, Shashank. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, everybody. So today we're going to talk about science. Well, really, it's just physics. Right. I hate physics. But physics and entrepreneurship, right? What physics can teach entrepreneurs and what we can learn as entrepreneurs from physics. Before we talk about that, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so we can create fun content for you. I love physics. I have always loved physics. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, physics is life. You know, every part of our life is related to physics. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the three laws of motion, or Newton's three laws, if you will, and how and what they teach entrepreneurs. Law number one, uh, Newton's first law, talks about inertia. An object at rest continues to be at rest and an object at motion continues to be in motion. This is the you know, definition of inertia. How many of you guys live in the comfort zone? I guess a lot of us. Majority of us, you know, all of us, and there's no exception. We love living in the comfort zone. That's very human nature. Uh, to break free of the comfort zone requires uh, you know, an external force. Just like inertia, if an object is at rest in order to change its state of motion, you need to apply an external force. In the same way, <laughs> in the same way in your life, if you want to get out of your comfort zone, you need an external force. So that's the first law of motion and what you can learn from the first law. Newton's second law of motion talks about momentum. Mm. Momentum in, in physics is defined as a product of mass and velocity. The larger the mass of the object, the more force you would need to move it. Mm. Right. The same applies to us in our comfort zone. The longer you have stayed in your comfort zone, the force required to move out of the comfort zone will be larger in nature. So lesson learned, always try to get out of the comfort zone as soon as possible. The longer you stay with bad habits, the more stagnant are you in your life, the more difficult it will be for you to get out of the comfort zone. And finally, talking about the third law, the most popular law, each one of us know about this. Every action has and equal, equal and, and opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. I love this thing and this so so easily relates with entrepreneurship. You know, whenever you try to grow in life, there will always be resistance from other people. Mm. The more successful you become, the more you will be subjected to criticism. And that's what Newton's third law teaches, about, teaches us about. When you're trying to grow in life and when you see criticism, you do not let it seep in mm. or sink in. Uh, the more criticism you're getting, it means you're doing something valuable. As long as you know the thing that you're doing is good in life. So, uh, you know, Newton's third law teaches us to take criticism, have persistence and perseverance to be able to grow in life with the idea that you have. And we have talked about this in one of our videos about what is true entrepreneurship. Uh, we're gonna put a link down. You can uh, click on the link and see that video about entrepreneurship. What is true entrepreneurship? What does it take to become an entrepreneur? So as you see, Physics has a lot of applications in real life, in entrepreneurship. So if you have any other Newton's theories of physics and entrepreneurship, go ahead and leave your comments below, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye!